Now this one here, it says find the remainder when x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by these many five polynomials. Okay. Now before solving this question, let's do a quick exercise here. Suppose I have 9 and I divide this by say 5. 1 is the quotient, 4 is the remainder, 9 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor. This 9 which is dividend, can I write this as 9 equals to 5 into 1 plus 4. 9 is what? Dividend equals to 5 is what? Divisor into 1 is what? Quotient plus 4 is what? Remainder. Now you see dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Simple concept. Here it says x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by this term. Find the remainder. Now if I put this and this in this format, what will come? It will be x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 will be equal to, this is dividend, will be equal to divisor. Divisor is x plus 1, x plus 1 into quotient, which I do not know, so I take it as y plus remainder, I need to find out. Let's take that as z. So, dividend, which is this, equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now, I do not know quotient, I do not know remainder. Okay. If x plus 1 goes 0, all right, suppose, in that case, this will be 0 into y plus z. 0 into y is 0 plus z. 0 plus z would be z. Now, if I take x plus 1 as 0, this dividend becomes equal to remainder. Now, what way x plus 1 can go 0? If I replace this x with 0 of this polynomial, which is x plus 1 equals to 0, x equals to minus 1. Means, if I replace this x with minus 1, which is the 0 for this polynomial, x plus 1 will become 0. And this dividend will be equal to remainder. Now, in place of dividing this dividend by x plus 1 this way, and doing the entire calculation, finding out the remainder at the end, if I straight away replace x values here by the 0 of this polynomial, which is minus 1, that will give me remainder for this polynomial. Let's try doing that. So you replace x with minus 1. What comes? Minus 1 whole cube, x cube, plus 3 into minus 1 whole square, plus 3 into minus 1, plus 1. This comes to negative 1, cube will be negative 1, plus negative 1 whole square will be 1 positive into 3 is 3. Positive 3, negative 1 negative 3 plus 1. Minus 1 plus 3, positive 2. Minus 3 plus 1, negative 2. This comes to 0. It means if I divide this polynomial by x plus 1, there would be no remainder. Means x plus 1 will fully divide this polynomial, leaving no remainder. We can do a trial here. Let's try to divide x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1 manually. x squared, x squared into x gives you x cubed plus x squared plus 1 gives you x squared. 
minus minus this is cancelled 3x square minus square 2x square plus 3x plus 1 okay 2x positive 2x into x gives you 2x square 2x into 1 gives you 2x minus minus this is cancelled 3x minus 2x x plus 1 now let's multiply by positive 1 so 1 into x is x 1 into 1 is 1 so minus minus leaves 0 now you see if i divide this polynomial or dividend by this polynomial x plus 1 or divisor it gives me this quotient and leaves no remainder same result came here so that is what remainder theorem talks about in place of dividing by division method or long division replace zero of the divisor into the dividend that will also give you the remainder all right this one first and foremost find out zero for this polynomial which is x minus 1 over 2 equals to 0 so x will be positive 1 over 2 now let's replace all the x's here with 1 over 2 so x cube will be 1 over 2 cube 3x square will be 3 into 1 over 2 square 3x will be 3 into 1 over 2 plus 1 so this would be 1 over 8 plus this would be 1 over 4 means 3 over 4 plus 3 over 2 plus 1 okay now let's add them together 27 over 8 means if you divide this polynomial by this polynomial you will get a remainder of 27 over 8 means this will not be completely divided by this polynomial you will have a remainder which is 27 over 8 this one here 0 for this this is x equals to 0 means 0 for this polynomial would be 0 it means if I replace all the x's with 0 this will be 0 q plus 3 into 0 square plus 3 into 0 plus 1 gets you 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 means 1 means if I divide this by x I'll have a remainder of 1 you can do a quick check also so this gives you x square plus this will be 3x plus this will be 3 1 cannot be divided by x so this will be the remainder so quotient and 1 will be the remainder all right this one find out the zero so x would be negative pi so let's replace x is with negative pi so if you divide this by x plus pi remainder would be x cube negative plus 3 pi square minus 3 pi plus 1 this one 5 plus 2x equals to 0 2x would be negative 5, 5 goes this side, x would be negative 5 over 2, negative 5 over 2, which comes to negative 5 over 2 this will be minus 125 minus 60 means minus 185 plus 180 plus 8, 158 over 8 okay. this will be 27 over 8 Alright, 